Welcome to the second module of this course, the International Health Regulations and Health Security Preparedness. What are the International Health Regulations? The International Health Regulations, IHR 2005 version, are an instrument of international law conferring rights and obligations on their 196 states parties. They are designed to prevent the spread of disease internationally and to guide the public health response when risks arise. The response must be proportional to the risk and avoid unnecessary interference with international traffic and trade. Key elements of the IHR 2005 are continuously monitoring public health risks and multi-hazard risks, maintaining information flow between WHO and national focal points in each state party, achieving core capacities in the public health response, achieving core capacities at points of entry, for example, airports, ports and ground crossings, using and reporting health measures, setting out special provisions for conveyances, cargo and travellers, protecting human rights. The IHR core capacities are those required to detect, assess, notify and report public health events and respond to public health risks and emergencies of national and international concern. Countries need to attain, implement and monitor capacities in the following areas national legislation, policy and financing, coordination and national focal point communications, surveillance, response, preparedness, risk communication, human resources, laboratory, points of entry, zoonotic events, food safety, chemical events and radionuclear emergencies. Countries develop National Action Plans for Health Security, or NAPS, with multi-hazard and multi-sectoral approaches in order to ensure countries' IHR core capacities. Number 1. Assess. Use capacity and risk assessments to prepare strategic or operational plans. 2. Develop. Develop and cost strategic or operational NAPS. 3. Mobilise. Map resources and develop resource mobilization strategies. 4. Implement. Implement activities and continuously monitor and evaluate progress. Underpinning principles. Flexible. Pragmatic. Streamline. Simplify. One Health. Multisectoral. Whole of society approach. The IHR Review Committee regarding amendments to International Health Regulations 2005 version is convened pursuant to Articles 50.1A2 and 47 of the IHR, as well as Decision WHA 75-9. The Review Committee will function in accordance with the WHO regulations for expert advisory panels and committees and will provide its report to the WHO Director General no later than mid-January 2023. The sole purpose of this review committee is to provide technical recommendations to the Director General on amendments proposed by states parties to the IHR as decided by the Health Assembly in decision WHA 75-9. The review committee began its work on 6th of October 2022. In accordance with decision WHA 75-9, the technical recommendations formulated by this review committee will inform the work of the Member States Working Group on Amendments to the International Health Regulations 2005 version, the WGIHR. In accordance with the same decision, the first meeting of the WGIHR was convened on 14th-15th of November 2022, and the WGIHR will present its proposed amendments to the IHR for consideration by the 77th World Health Assembly in May 2024. Health emergencies continue to have a significant and sometimes catastrophic impact on countries' economies and development 
and on the health of their people. Both recent and ongoing public health events have demonstrated that many countries remain at high risk, and that strong levels of national preparedness across all relevant sectors are crucial to ensuring the effective management of health emergencies. They also illustrate the need to scale up the implementation of the IHR 2005 version, under which countries are required to build and maintain strong and resilient health systems in order to prevent, detect and rapidly respond to and recover from public health emergencies. This is the essence of health security. It is about reducing health emergency threats, risks and vulnerabilities so that countries and communities can manage them before they become large-scale health crises. The rapid emergence and spread of COVID-19 is a painful reminder of the need to scale up health emergency preparedness and health security. What do the IHR 2005 version and the international obligations mean for parliaments? As stipulated in the 2021 WHA 73.8 resolution, Strengthening Preparedness for Health Emergencies implementation of the IHR 2005, WHO member states have agreed that Parliament plays a fundamental role in enhancing capacities to prevent, detect and respond to public health risks and in promoting and adopting the IHR. They have also further emphasised the importance of Parliament in enabling all-inclusive multi-sectoral coordination for health emergency preparedness. Some preliminary considerations. Who is the designated IHR focal point in my country? Does that officer have sufficient power and support to receive all relevant information and relay it as required to WHO? Has my country recently had a joint external evaluation, JEE, to examine its progress in achieving the IHR core capacities? Was my parliament involved in this process? Has the Ministry of Health conducted a review of legislation to ensure my country has a regulatory framework capable of supporting core capacities for all public health risks, including multi-hazard events calling for a multi-sectoral response? Has the Ministry engaged with the Parliament on required legislative reform? Has the Ministry of Health considered its progress against all IHR core capacities and identified any gaps? What is my country's plan to meet core capacities? Are core capacities adequately resourced? Are there any opportunities for my Parliament to engage regionally in mutually supporting a better understanding of the IHR and in achieving core capacities more effectively? Some options for parliamentary action. If health emergency preparedness falls under your purview as a parliamentarian, find opportunities to familiarise yourself with the concept of health security, the international health regulations and the core capacities under the IHR. Ask the Ministry of Health and or the WHO country office to conduct briefings for interested parliamentarians. Informal and informal parliamentary activities support country participation in SPA and JEE processes. When a draft law or law reform is provided for examination and in parliamentary oversight committees before being introduced into Parliament, take the opportunity to ask questions about how it will advance health emergency preparedness and how it aligns with any other laws with which it will interact. In Parliament, ask questions about whether the core capacities under the IHR have been met. In Parliament and Cabinet, actively support laws that enable better health emergency preparedness. In committees, take the opportunity to examine core capacities and country compliance with the IHR in more detail. Consider asking questions to competent authorities and seeking more information. Let's recap what we have learned. 
The international health regulations are an instrument of international law, conferring rights and obligations on their 196 states' parties. They are designed to prevent the spread of disease internationally and to guide the public health response when risks arise. Health emergencies continue to have a significant and sometimes catastrophic impact on countries' economies and development and on the health of their people. There is a need to scale up the implementation of the IHR, under which countries are required to build and maintain strong and resilient health systems in order to prevent, detect and rapidly respond to and recover from public health emergencies. Parliament plays a fundamental role in enhancing capacities to prevent, detect and respond to public health risks and in promoting and adopting the IHR. Here is a question you can ponder over. What are the international health regulations and what do they mean for parliaments and parliamentarians?